I'm going to read three short poems connected to my grandmother, Anne Gilmore Stewart, to whom my new book, Heart Container, is dedicated. The first is called Songs of the Great Indoors, and it started with a song by Ray Mason. Listening to your song about summer in California, beach boys and spoonful time, inexplicably brings to mind a Pennsylvania moment that probably happened in winter. Billy Idol's sneer on the big console television in my grandmother's sitting room, which come to think of it was a bedroom. I guess she had a three bedroom apartment with a writing desk in that TV room and another in the living room, though I never saw her writing at either one. It was the eighties. Every season had a white wedding. Anyway, keep on with your summer songs because it's always winter here. And this poem, which I've titled April, was written by my grandmother in 1929 when she was in college. And it was in a book, I, I have it in a journal of poems that she wrote for a college class. So this is April by Anne Gilmore Stewart. When April comes and you are far away, bittersweet April with her smiles and tears, when meadows freshened by their winter's sleep and gently falling rain awake to find blue violets like shy heads among the grass, when hardy crocus flaunts its gayest hues along the paths we love, our beautus clings around our rock up on the farthest hill, that rock we found last spring when you were here, when mad rain swoops across the sky and leaves a trail of sun behind, when over all the soft, sweet breath of spring lies, bringing old memories of you. My dear, my dear, where April comes to me with you not here to share, twill not be spring. And this poem, but a poem of mine is called Spring Winds Again, and it's kind of a response to that poem by my grandmother. So it's Spring Winds Again for Anne Gilmore Stewart, my grandmother, by Marion. <laughs> Where once there were layers of gray, now blossoming violet songs push against our resistance, strong desire to keep the gray in play, shunting suggestion of color to margins, preferring duller descriptors for these heady days. Purples, not easily denied, break earth and bloom before our eyes in majestic springtime display. We blink, ruddy-eyed, blink again, attempting to thwart green, but then the yellows, that first yellow day warms us, unwittingly joining the fools who grin at nature's foiling winter, Another year, we stay for yellows, then reds, and we're done. No point arguing. Spring has won.